Good morning. Today is April 13th, 2014. Hope you're having a great Sunday morning. We're going to get started today with Luke 16, 1 through 18. Jesus also said to his disciples, A certain rich man heard that his household manager was wasting his estate. He called the manager in and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give me a report of your administration, because you can no longer serve as my manager. The household manager said to himself, What will I do now that my master is firing me as his manager? I am not strong enough to dig and too proud to beg. I know that I'll do so that when I am removed from my management position, people will welcome me into their houses. One by one, the manager sent for each person who owed his master money. He said to the first, How much do you owe my master? He said, Nine hundred gallons of olive oil. The manager said to him, Take your contract, sit down quickly, and write four hundred fifty gallons. Then the manager said to another, How much do you owe? He said, one thousand bushels a wheat. He said, Take your contract and write eight hundred. The master commended the dishonest manager because he acted cleverly. People who belong to this world are more clever in dealing with their peers than the people who belong to the light. I tell you, use worldly wealth to make friends for yourself so that when it's gone, you will be welcomed into eternal homes. Whoever is faithful with little is also faithful with much, and the one who is dishonest with little is also dishonest with much. If you, have, if you haven't been faithful with worldly wealth, you would trust, who will trust you with your true riches? If you haven't been faithful with someone else's property, who will give you your own? No household servant can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be loyal to the one and be contempt for the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. The Pharisees, who were money lovers, heard all of this and sneered at Jesus. He said to them, You are the ones who justify yourselves before our other people, but God knows your hearts. What is highly valued by people is deeply offensive to God. Until John, there was only the law and the prophets. Since then, the good news of God's kingdom is preached, and everyone is urged to enter it. It's easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for the smallest stroke of a pen in the law to drop out. Any man who divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery, and a man who marries a woman divorced from her husband commits adultery. Psalm 82, a psalm of Asaph. God takes his stand in the divine council. He gives judgment among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly by granting favor to the wicked? Selah. Give justice to the lowly and the orphan. Maintain the right to the poor and the destitute. Rescue the lowly and the needy. Deliver them from the power of the wicked. They don't know. They don't understand. They wander around in the dark. All the earth's foundations shake. I hereby declare, you are gods, children of the Most High, all of you. But you will die like mortals. You will fall down like any prince. Rise up, God. Judge the earth, because you hold all nations in your possession. Proverbs 13, 2, and 3. People eat well from the fruit of their words, but the treacherous have an appetite only for violence. People who watch their mouths guard their lives, but those who open their lips are ruined. Okay, guys, that was Proverbs 13, 2, and 3. Psalms 82. And Luke 16, 1 through 18. I hope you guys have a good rest of this Sunday. 
I will see you guys later on with some, uh, I found some funny stories for you guys, so I'll read them to you guys later on. Hope you have a great day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. Love you guys. Bye.